what's up everyone welcome back to the channel in the previous videos we covered month six and month seven but that's like month seven and eight so this is the last and final month in foundations and uh without further ado let's just get into it so primarily uh i can say 60 percent of this month you guys gonna be working on the final project the project that you've been building remember at the end of month seven we had the research and project approval part one that you're supposed to do this is where they ask you like uh, to get like the problem statement, get like the type of project that you want to undertake. That's the time that you have to make a decision on what project you're going to do. So you have to brainstorm if you can do it alone or you can do it in a team, you can select people. So yeah, then right now when you start month eight, you have a research and project approval part two. They are just ask you more details on the project that you want to undertake. And they just you just fill in the 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 way they have asked you in the questions. So they'll just give you everything. Then you have to like expound on the project idea that you want to work on because at this point, uh, this is the project that you're going to present at the end. So they are not do overs. You have to pick the right project from the start. If you pick on the, the a project that is difficult for you to implement. It will cost you in the end and it will cost you like uh the final grading which is actually pretty important and and you're not and you'll not be able to like get the maximum that you need especially when you are finishing so yeah it's actually quite important then you have the post-mortem this is just another devops project you're given like different situations then you're you're told to like um just give a solution on how you approached it they've got api advanced this is just uh, more teaching you about more how to work with uh, APIs in there. Then another web start debugging three and four, which you're going to see there. Just, just to close out like some of the DevOps projects that you need to know. And they're just, um, they're just projects that enable you to just practice on DevOps and Docker containers. So yeah, I looked at them at that way. So web start debugging started from zero, one, two, three, and four. So yeah, a lot, a lot, uh, a lot of things. Then we've got um, web stack monitoring where you're given like uh, this. That's another one you set up on your server. You like do like uh, use a tool called Datadog, a platform called Datadog to do that. So yeah, I mean it's actually quite important. Then application server is a server project. I mean it, it just um, the, the, this is the, the final server project you're going to do in. Um, the foundations and it's actually quite interesting man it gave me some problems what i was able to pull through in the end then you got the research and project approval part three where you just fill in uh the, i believe this is the mv the the mvp that you're supposed to like develop it you're just building up on the project then after that you're seeing like there's a build your own portfolio project we making progress this is where you're supposed to give an update on like the project and you have to create like an MVP in week two. Then project landing page, you're supposed to create it in uh, week three. Then uh, week four is supposed to give us the the presentation. So the presentation will just, you'll just explain and give a walkthrough on what you've already built. And this is actually my fun, the fun part for me because I've, at that time I've spent a lot of time, you know, documenting the work. So I've, I've created like the necessary documentation following the project. I have been able to like um, give an update on making progress and use like uh, tools like Trello, Trello board. And Trello is actually a very good tool, especially for project management and just knowing a way to like be able to track your work. So it's actually a pretty neat tool to use and it, oh, it's awesome. Then you've got the present there in there. Then you've got the cleaning up your project portfolio. So this is this is the, this is the one that you do like after the presentation. Like the other things that you need to work on, you do that. Then you make a blog post, and um, that's just about it. Then you do the evaluation, and uh, you, with that, you have closed out the ALX foundations. It's been a long journey. Like it's um, you have to look at it as a marathon instead of a full-on sprint, uh, which I did, and. Um, this is why I concluded because I finished my project pro presentation on Thursday this week and this past Thursday and um, yeah, I just did everything and uh, right now I'm just waiting on, I've just given a one week break then uh, on 26th, June 26th, I get into specialization where I will keep you updated on what is going on in specialization and uh, for me, I'll be choosing backend and, and yeah. 
So if you guys like the video, make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments on what you think. And um, I'm out. Peace.